Hi guys, and welcome to Go Roughly Around the World. Greg and I are riding around the world with my German Shepherd Moxie on the back of my motorcycle in her K9 Moto cockpit to raise $100,000 for the nonprofit Girl Up. Today, we're talking to you about what happens in a crash situation. Just a couple of background points about the cockpit. We're not gonna go into all the ins and outs. We've done other videos on that, goroughly.com. The cockpit is designed for the dog to ride in a laying position, and we did that very, very intentionally. It is much more comfortable for the dog over an extended period, especially as your dog gets a little bit older. They're gonna spend all day in a sitting or standing position, losing their balance, struggling, fighting. When they're laying down like this, they can relax. The other thing is, in a crash situation, they're gonna be more cradled within a snug but comfortable cockpit that is fully padded. So it's got hard, rigid uh, protection from the crash, but it's also got padding all the way around so there's no hard part that comes into contact with the dog. So this is what it looks like when she goes down. This is the most common crash scenario that we've encountered that really comes up in the testing that we've done. You want the dog in here cradled within the soft, but rigid frame of the cockpit and protect it here. A key piece of it is having the side case on because that's keeping your dog that much further away from the ground. Making sure that the tethers are really tight is important. If these are too loose, then she's gonna be more likely to come out, especially when you're having the force of a crash. But as you can see, there's nothing really touching the ground. Her paw is out a little bit here, but it's not touching the ground. And this is basically the position that I see her in after I've leapt off and I come back for her. And so now I'm gonna unclip her and then she's gonna be free to go. Now, before you unclip your dog, very important that you control the situation in the scene, okay? Moxie gets really excited in a crash situation, believe it or not. And so to just release her, she's gonna bolt off into traffic. She's gonna bolt off after an elk or a moose or whatever might be around. So. Get the leash on her, unclip her, make sure that the scene is controlled. The most dangerous part of the crash can very easily be the traffic that's around, right? Oncoming traffic, traffic swerving from behind you. It's an incredibly important piece of why we always want the dog strapped in. Because even in this idea that they can leap out athletically and do double backflips and then land on their paws, which is not gonna happen, you still have oncoming traffic, cars swerving, that can be incredible hazards for them, more dangerous than the crash itself. When I had my first fall with Moxie, it was really eye-opening. It allowed me the opportunity to see that she was safe, that when we would go down, she was gonna be in her padded cockpit and nothing was gonna happen to her. And what that does, it allows me to be a safer rider in general, not worrying that if I go down, is she gonna be okay? Am I gonna hurt her? Is there gonna be a problem? That's not what I'm thinking anymore. I'm trying to ride the road the best way that I can, which is going to be the safest way that I can. And by having a fall and having that experience, it really helps sort of solidify that in my mind. Off-road riding trainers will tell you that when a big heavy bike like this wants to go over, the worst thing you can do is try to save it. You're not strong enough. And so the best and safest thing for you as the rider is to let that bike go and bail out. Really hard to do if you're worried about your dog's safety. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that this video gave you some perspective and additional information about what it's like when you crash with your dog. If you ride long enough, you're gonna have a crash. It's pretty hard to avoid. So making sure that you know what the security features and safety features of your carrier that you use and how your dog is likely to experience it, it's gonna make you feel a lot better when it does happen. And we do have some additional videos on goroughly.com that talk specifically about the canine moto cockpit, about how it's constructed, safety issues, and a whole bunch of other resources. So go and check that out at goroughly.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and at GoRoughly for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.